Hi everyone, Artemis is here and welcome to the second part of debunking the Incredibles dystopia sketches. I would recommend you to watch the first part if you didn't. Let's start immediately. First image shows us a lot of variations for melodies. The one which is very familiar is this arpeggio design. The helmet is identical, but clothes are slightly different from the current one, and also they were yellow, which looks weird. And the second biggest sketch here is this vicious character, which looks like a villain from Star Wars, and not gonna lie, he has a very cool jacket. It actually reminds me a jacket from Incredible Polo, maybe because it's black. Then we have this head design of the third melody. The shape is the same, just here it's less detailed. Next to him we have an actual Incredible Man with the speaker on his head. I actually don't know which melody it would fit. It would actually fit the bass, because well, the speakers are very good with bass sounds. Then we have some little sketches and this helmet. No idea how they would use it. Oh, and also this sketch, which is probably a sketch for this melody. They look very similar. The same UFO helmet. Second one has a lot of stuff which did not appear in the game. But the biggest sketch here is this guy, which is almost the same as in final version. The only big difference are the figures on his mouth pad or what it is. We also see that the last melody was originally a robot too, but in final version developers decided to remove the top part of it. I actually like this one more. And then we have this amazing design, which did not appear in game. Maybe because he doesn't have a mouth. And you know that almost all sounds are made a cappella, and having incredible man without a mouth is like not being subscribed on my channel, which you must do. Only 20% of people who watch me are subscribed. If you still did not subscribe yet, better do it now. Okay, this is the first and last time I'm gonna do it, but you still need to subscribe. This one was probably one of the designs for the synth melody. He has these uh, things on the same place as the original design. Also, this one looks pretty creepy. Next we have voices, and we see some familiar faces. The fancy rocker looked like this, he had more triangles and glasses, which are very usual in futuristic designs, so I'm glad they did more unique version of the sunglasses. Then we have Hidden Rebel sketch, which is 100% identical to the one we have in game, just glasses on sketch are more round. This is the only small difference. But next to him we have more creepy version of him, which actually reminds me of... <laughs> Besides that, the rocker voice originally had a very fancy looking fur coat, damn, which actually reminded me of this dude from Alive, and also this mushroom head dude which reminds me of oh, 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 oh shit, and the final one, we see remaining three voices on this sketch, Kurus, the cyborg and we must believe voice. They all look almost the same, only the cyborg has different color palette, more golden one. And it looks neat, but I like the one we have. And the bottom right we see a design which did not appear in game. Probably it was a better design for the believe voice, but who knows. And then we have a bunch of little sketches and a sketch of the Incrediment hologram. Not gonna lie, it would be cool to see such type in game. But it was scrapped, probably because it did not fit the sounds. Ah, finally, we finished debunking all the work in progress sketches from Incredible Steam. We actually saw all 20 characters in these sketches, which appeared in the official version. Besides that, we also saw some new and cool designs, which were sadly scrapped. Now we should wait for 9th version teasers. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I see you next time.